Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately, and I've had just about enough of it. So you're going to have to do better than that. Hmm. Older guy, in his 50s or so? I remember him. He left already. But Dr. Lee might know more. All right, you can go on up. She'll be in the science lab. Just don't cause any trouble, or else you're gonna answer to me. And I suppose. At the stern. That's the west end to you. We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say-so. Carry on, then. Yes? I'm on duty. Make it quick. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm gonna do anything. Bye. your runaway robot no look this is a restricted area i'm tired of telling you people i it's you my heavens you look so much like him you're james's son aren't you what are you doing here you were too young to remember and i suppose james never spoke of me typical i'm dr madison lee i worked with your parents many years ago now i run the science lab here in rivet city it was all i had left when your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. The last I knew, he was headed back to the lab at Project Purity in the old Jefferson Memorial Building. I still say it's dangerous, and he shouldn't have risked it. That's all I know. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? James? He was very driven, determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time, and wants to try again. Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. 
Yes. It was... James? He was focused when she died, but it seems that... Complications from child... You have to... As I said, I am sorry. I'm afraid I can't go back and change the past. Okay. What do you want to know? Okay. Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I... We worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time. Or better equipment. You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Okay. This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. Good luck finding your father. We don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real. Yeah? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's not saying much. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Later. You there! What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point! I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm... How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. 
Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Maybe, maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? This particular android, designation A321, is different. Huh. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all... Acceptable losses, but A321, he is irreplaceable. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Of course you do. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my... You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was there was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a holotape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. 
Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Like I said, it's a hoax. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. Sure can. And a quick shot. All done. Sure thing. Here's what I have. You can get that crap down at a quick fix. It's in the market. I'm a doctor, not a dealer. I'll fix you as best I can if you're hurt. Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Take care of yourself. Good to see you. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? Ah, you've managed to sniff the trail. Good job. Keep me informed on your progress. Well, why are you still standing there? Standing around all day chit-chatting isn't going to help you track down my android, is it? A circuit neuralizer? Here in the wasteland? How'd they manage to get their grubby hands on one of those? Impressive. You are showing signs of intelligence and resourcefulness. You might turn out useful after all, but you're wasting time talking to me. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance.
Vault Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance, safety, survivability, and sanitation. Being underground got you down? Smile! Our Simusun lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again! Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Bored? Don't be! Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation! Concerns about security? Our Eye on You cameras enable the vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again! Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a Vault Tech vault. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Hey, you're the one who deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about that military weapons cache. This holotape contains the location of the weapons cache. I hope you put them to good use and keep up the fight. Remember to keep us tuned in while you're out there and watch yourself. I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Ever since G and I started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. Without this place, DC would be filled with that crap the Enclave keeps shoveling out of their radio station and festering with muties. Someone's gotta tell the Wastelanders what time it is, and Three Dog is the one to do it. No one knows what Eden and his horsemen of the apocalypse are up to, but you can be sure it isn't in the common man's best interest. Three Dog's seen it all. 
capital wasteland at its ugliest. People killed for scraps of food, wounded children wandering aimlessly, some seriously fucked up shit. If it wasn't for the good fight, I think I would have gone crazy by now. Why candy coat the news when the world is in danger? People like the Enclave would have you believe everything is calm and totally under control. They're lying. Hell, President Eaton goes around spreading peace, love, and government, but no one even knows how old that Enclave signal really is. People need to hear the truth. It's a harsh world. We've got to work together to make it better, not wait for Uncle Sam to ride in and save the day. You've got to understand, if I die, so does the voice of the people. I can't take that risk. Your idea of saving the world means combing through the rubble and using a gun. I use my voice. We're two sides of the same coin. If you think always being a target of your enemies is safe, then you got a funny way of looking at things. Parents? Ha! I was born from the sun and have sand in my veins. Ha <laughs> Just messing with you. My parents were very cool. They preached all about the haters and their bullshit, how to tell the propaganda from the real deal. Okay, go for it. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. More hiding for you! of the capital wasteland, you can hear me!
of the Capital Wasteland, you can hear me! You can't stop the signal, baby. That's right. From Megaton to Girdershade, Paradise Falls to the Republic of Dave, we're...